Hey team, Jesse Reynolds here and want to get your WOD video out for you. It is Monday, December the 1st. We are in the last month of 2014. Uh, this is not the WOD message, but I just want to ask you a simple question for you to think about. Are you where you wanted to be physically, financially, emotionally, relationally by the end of this year? When you thought about where you wanted to be at the beginning of this year, are you where you had hoped to be? Uh, unfortunately, probably many of you are not where you want it to be. And AdvoCare can be a big part of some of those solutions, but it requires us to actually pursue this vehicle of AdvoCare, to pursue the opportunities that are available to us with AdvoCare. It's great to have good intentions, but intentions by themselves are powerless. It's the action part. And so if you are not where you want to be uh, in those areas, especially in terms of time and finances, I want to encourage you to make a commitment to yourself, to make a commitment to your children that things will be different and that you will start treating this vehicle called AdvoCare with the type of seriousness that it deserves because this literally could change everything for your family if you would just become teachable, coachable, and apply the success system. But with that being said, that is not the actual message for today. That was just a thought as we are now in the final month of 2014. So the, the specific WAD training for you today is about impending events. Uh, last night, we just had a phenomenal impending event. We just had that men's leadership call with Brandon Knife, Jonathan Butler, and uh, DJ Janakis. Those of you who were on it, you know what I'm talking about. It was powerful, and lives were flat out challenged and changed as a result of being on that call. The feedback I've gotten has been overwhelming. So the thing is, though, that call was awesome, but did you have people on it? See, that's the whole thing about impending events. You, know, the, you might have a uh, diamond come into your town to do a meeting, but will you have people in the room for the meeting? Yes, you've got to get yourself there. The number one skill in AdvoCare to be successful, the number one skill is to get yourself and capital A, capital N, capital D, yourself and your people to impending events. So we have to be committed to be plugging into these calls. We have to be committed to being on these webinars. We have to be committed to going to the mixers and the opportunity meetings and, and Advo Nation. But we also have got to be committed to bringing people to these events with us, getting your people to three-way phone calls, getting your people to two-on-one meetings, getting your people to in-home mixers. We have to talk to a lot of people. See, everybody thinks this business, the key to success is to talk to people. And that's not exactly right. You can talk to a couple people and never find any success here. The key to success in AdvoCare is not just talk to people. You have got to talk to a lot of people. And when we talk to a lot of people, we have to share our story and we have to invite them to see more. We invite them to see more by getting them on calls like last night, by getting them in our living room for our mixer, by bringing them to the local opportunity meeting or the big area meeting that's going on or the Saturday morning training. That is how you invite people to see more. I have a simple challenge for you introduce three new people to the success system this week get three new people in front of your sponsor at a meeting or on the phone with your sponsor if you do that you will see that will help to advance your business forward that is a simple challenge anyone can do this it's easy to do it's easy not to do comment below with the names of the three people you are committed to bringing through the success system this week you guys are champions let's make 2015 your year for financial freedom